hello everybody and welcome back to my channel my name is Kitty Mary and also Merry Christmas it is today not when I'm filming but when I'm uploading this it is the 24th of December so Merry Christmas and I thought I wanted to use this day this uploading day in my schedule as an opportunity to show you guys what I am giving the people I love for Christmas during both this December and last year as well I shared sustainable gift giving guides to give you guys some inspiration as to what directions to go in or what to look for etc I don't like to say that there is one type of sustainable gift and a sustainable gift can only be a certain thing I look a certain way that's not the case so I usually try to broaden my options out a bit by looking for vintage retro secondhand things something that is pre-loved in any way shape or form I like to look at experience gifts something that isn't physical and needs to be wrapped but an experience a memory you create together or just an experience they can go and do with someone else etc then there's also consumables making something that you can eat or they can eat specifically like you're not gonna eat it yourself but you know you catch my drift and then there's supporting eco brands okay a few different options here and uh, uh, I am giving gifts to Jens my brother my grandmother my mom and my dad so uh, let's get into it first of all the gift for my grandmother I have given sort of the same type of gift the last three or four years now and I'll just keep doing it because this is something that I can feel like she's using all year round it's something that is incredibly beneficial to our family and uh, it is this a book I make a book every single year just with pictures I take from our lives during the year we have pictures from last Christmas not every picture is with me and my grandmother but just different things that happened um, she is a little forgetful. I like to give her these books whenever I'm visiting We always go through them and talk about what happened here and oh that was that day And it's just a really nice way to relive some memories and she's always been really big on Photographs and having albums with the tons of photographs in them And this is sort of like a new modern way of doing it and she really really loves these books and the entire family likes them so um, She gets one again this year with her on the cover this time she picked some flowers in her yard there this one this is one of my favorite pictures of her as well she's beautiful and luckily a book is very easy to wrap <laughs> which is a big bonus honestly this is a little bit the year of the books because I have two more books that I'm giving as gifts because I'm also giving my brother a book it is a little bit bigger this one this is a book from Tautomate it is a Copenhagen based initiative uh, all about urban gardening and sustainability and just growth initiatives it's really cool inside the book there are also some seeds he lives on a farm and is very into different types of experiments with vegetables and plants and what can grow and he is he's deep down into the self-sustainable self-sufficient way of life so I thought this could be really good it is a huge guide with so many resources about fermenting and pickling and zero waste living and having like land and how to cultivate it in a sustainable way and just micro farming and mushroom farming all kinds of stuff it is such a huge book of resources um, I will also leave their Instagram page down below if you want to check them out um, they're doing some really amazing work too and this book is just it's also really big it is a huge knowledge bank and I hope he's going to like it. My dad is getting two things. First of all, my dad is getting a tiny book about Greta. Um, I don't think this is a book he would pick up by himself, but I definitely think he will read it when he is given it as a gift. Um, it's also just a teeny tiny book, so I don't think that's going to be a big problem. It's in Danish. And you know, yeah, just a, I don't want to call this a gimmick. I got this specifically for him um, from a Danish eco shop. And I just think this would be pretty good because the gift that I'm giving him, like the main gift is something that I haven't bought, something I just went down to my basement and got. Um, it is this shelf. <laughs> so we had a little family meeting in November where I sort of just asked my family what's up with you what are you interested in is there anything or like any directions related to Christmas gifts that you would like me to go in I don't go down to one store and just buy everything that I need but I usually go for second-hand things or like more sustainable brands so it takes sometimes at least the way I do things a little bit more time so I like to get started in November knowing sort of what directions I want to go in and my dad said he really wanted like a wooden shelf with some like brass or metal 
hanging devices from it. And immediately I knew that I had this in my basement. This is actually an heirloom. Um, but I haven't got around hanging it yet and I don't know where to put it because I have literally all my walls in this apartment completely stocked with things. So I am not going to use it anytime soon. And he really, really wanted one specifically. This was just what he described. Um, so he's getting that. I'm excited to see how I'm going to wrap this because these can't like go down. They are just like this. Um, so I don't really know <laughs> what I'm going to do with it. Um, but I'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll see. We'll, we'll find it out. Um, but very sustainable gift. I didn't even buy anything here. I just went down to my basement and got something. And in that lane, in that narrative, normalize regifting. Seriously. <laughs> I can't really show you my mom's gift because I was a little late and I ordered it. And it's a custom made thing and it's going to arrive in February. <laughs> but she knows I'm going to make a drawing of what she's getting so she can open a little envelope with the drawing inside and then she gets the drawing and then she can do what she wants with that. And um, yeah, then around my birthday, she'll get her gift. But I am making her a custom ring, <laughs> or I'm not making it. I am ordering a custom ring from Still Nest. It's one of the jewelry shops that I have worked with myself. They make their jewelry from 100% recycled silver and gold. It's a very ethical jewelry company and these things are made to order. So there's no Uber production, which I think is really cool. There's no mining involved. Yes, and it's made from a jeweler of this specific piece is made from a jeweler in Germany So it isn't really shipped from that far away. It's a total win-win. I've talked about stillness before I can really recommend that also leave them down below But what I'm giving her is basically this ring. It is basically this ring. It is a little Golden ring with a flat top and on that flat top. I'm having engraved Marie, which is the name of me, my mom, my grandmother, and my great-grandmother. So we have sort of this little club, we're all called Something Marie. And uh, I'm just going to, to have written on it the Maries, basically, like we're an actual club. Um, and I hope she's going to like it. I got her a necklace from Stillness for her birthday in November. And uh, it wasn't even something that I bought. She noticed a necklace I was wearing from Stillness and she completely lost it. Just, that is the most beautiful necklace I've ever seen on someone. Ah! Also, am I an idiot? I have the lights above turned on the entire time, so everything has been really yellow. I hope that you can deal. That wasn't my intention. This light is much better, but we're almost finished with talking here and then I'll move into the kitchen so we can wrap the gifts. <sighs> it's Friday. I am basically already on Christmas holiday at this point, so I apologize for that. I'm not going to refilm everything. No, it's not happening. What was it? Oh yeah, but she was really into the necklace I was wearing, so the week after that was her birthday and I simply wrapped that necklace and she wears it every day. She was so happy so I thought she could use a ring to go with that as well. And the last gift and honestly the gift I was the most nervous about giving or am the most nervous about giving past tense because I've actually already given Jens his gift because we are not celebrating Christmas together so we are doing gifts a little bit before so we don't have to drag our gifts back and forth. It um, doesn't really make sense when they belong here in the apartment. I found Jens a 70s bar cart with brass detailing and glass surfaces and this it has small wheels as well. We have talked about wanting like a bar cart thing scenario for a while. He also did guess it but he always calls me on my gifts like basically every single time he calls me on my gifts it's really frustrating. Anyway he was really excited about it. I was so happy that he liked it. I was a little bit nervous because it was a big thing. We don't really have room for it now so we have to be creative with where we are going to place it now. Um, but we are also looking for a house so we might end up moving within the next year. Um, and that will make it a lot easier to find room for it. So I'm simply just a little bit ahead of time. I simply wrapped it in a big blanket and placed it in the basement until I had to give it to him. Then I dragged it into the living room and then he had to pull this blanket off and ta-da, there it was. Um, so very zero waste, very low effort and low waste packaging. But it was really cool and it was from the 70s. It is a vintage item. I think it is so beautiful and I cannot wait for us to find a way and where to put it and how to style it and such. But he was so excited about it. Also, Jens collects gins and really likes making fancy cocktails. So I thought it would be perfect 
for that. I thought it would be nice for him to be able to look at these things they are on display rather than having them placed somewhere in a draw behind the shelf very far away. Anyway, you catch my drift. Those were the gifts that I'm giving this year now. I think I want to go into the kitchen with the stuff and let's wrap it together. Okay. This one was a little bit difficult to wrap, but I feel like we got it in the end. So I'm using one of my favorite scarves, simply tying it diagonally. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. And uh, this is okay. It's not terribly secretive. It is a little bit revealing what it is. Um, but that also, I don't feel that matters. This is pretty neat. I feel like this Christmas is on cheat mode because books are so incredibly easy to wrap. We have a piece of a tablecloth. This is just like a thrifted holiday style tablecloth. We have these pieces in tons of different sizes. And fun fact, it's not even me who got that tablecloth and start, started cutting it up. It was my mother-in-law, which is pretty neat. It's Jens' mom who did this. Um, I, but we keep using these same pieces of fabric. Now they're just in circulation everywhere. But it's really, really nice. And then I am using my own homemade paper to make small greeting cards with. I have a video where I make this paper myself. Um, so you can go and check that out. It was a really fun tutorial. I think it was in the beginning of this year, honestly, um, that I made this. But this is a nice little personal gift. And then I think I'm going to add some greenery, some small details um, as well. But yes, we did sort of the same thing here big piece of cloth and then wrapped it with some string and my brother's gift ends up looking like this. I really like the beige colors here. I feel like that's really nice. And we have so much wrapping paper that we have gotten through gifts and that we save and use over and over and over again. So this is also sort of what's happening here. And uh, I see no reason as to why I would throw it away ever. This is really good quality and I feel like I've wrapped at least five gifts in this, gotten it back, rewrapped something in it. It's pretty cool. Hello guys, you are getting a voiceover holiday greeting. I am at Ian's parents' house, probably going to be in self-isolation, probably going to be snowed in. Anyway, I want to wish you a happy holidays and Merry Christmas and also just generally a good day. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Take really good care of yourselves. Until then, bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye!